Hello, welcome to episode 25. 25? Quarter of a century. 20, I bet it feels like that when you've watched it. <laughs> I bet they feel like we've done a century. Oh, yeah, it feels like a quarter of a century when I watch these. So, where are we today, Scott? Right, well, I'll tell you in our list of glamorous locations mm. in Burnley Mechanics that we want to take you to and we haven't been yet, we're in the loft. So, what's the loft? We have filmed in here before, but what is the loft used for? Well, the loft can be used uh, as loads of things. We've had like conferences in here. Uh, it can be used as a dressing room. It's been used as uh, space for meetings mm. and all sorts and of things. And well, functions it, yeah. as well. It's a very flexible space. And it's a lovely room. It's part of the old building, isn't it? Paul? Yeah, it used to be um, called the Tudor room. The Tudor room, yeah. Really nice. Anyway. This is where we are this yes. week. Plus, everywhere else is busy and it's the only place we could find. And he that. said, I wouldn't take me in his workshop. That's yeah. what you said. Yes, I did say that, yeah. Not like we're on a first date or anything, but that's what he said. I'm not taking you in there. Anyway, busy weekend we've had, haven't we? Yes. Fantastic. Oh, we've had such a busy weekend. Pantomime. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was actually. Yeah. It was. It was really good. good. Yeah, it was. Really good. The cast were fantastic. Really friendly. Dave Benson Phillips. Lived up to his name yes. as the, the legend, legend that is Dave Phillips. <laughs> Dave Benson Phillips. Yeah, yes. It wasn't that he gave me his Maltesers. Oh. Yeah, but his son had been nibbling at them as well. But he said, you could have them. And uh, I was doing impressions for him at Lyft, and it was just brilliant. It was a really, really good day. Yeah. Really fantastic. All those who were there at the pantomime, you'll know how fantastic it was. But uh, get thinking about next year as well. Yes. Right. Now, before we, I've got to tell everybody about some shows. Well, Because this is obviously the, the, the point of this. We'll do it. Right. On Thursday, we've got 600 people. Now, we've just had a conversation about 600 people, aren't we, downstairs? Yeah. Would you like to explain to the viewers what it's about? No. <laughs> No, you told me, and then straight away, do you know when like, you, know, you start going... <coughs> no, it's going to be a fantastic show. Right, okay. It's um, about how the universe works, but it's a comedic look on it. Um, and it stems from a conversation with an astrophysicist, so it's about how we look at... Oh, <laughs> stay with me, stay right, with okay. me. It's a comedy. It's really, really good. It's £10. Yeah. It's on a Thursday, it's on Thursday night. <laughs> And you're going to really enjoy it. So, book for that. So tell us a bit more about it. So it's a right. comedy, stand-up comedy. No, well it's like, it's a bit like a lecture. It's somewhere between a comedy and a lecture. Okay. But it's about, I'm reading it because I want to get it right. It's on here. It's about, it, oh, it understands how the universe works. So it explores how we think about evolution, intelligence, belief and invention, communication, space travel and all the stories we tell in order to understand our place in the cosmos. So it is really good. Get the old grey matter working and a bit of a laugh. Yeah? Saturday. Sing along a beauty and the beast. We invite you to be our guest. We do. To sample a tale as old as time. Sing along a beauty and the beast. We've still got a few tickets left for that. Only a few. Only a few. Friday the 27th of this month. Mm. ELO. Yeah, the old Yorkshire greeting band. <laughs> no tickets, all sold out. Do you know why? Why? Oh no, no, you've already said that. <laughs> <laughs> right, the jam it's as well. Sold out. Saturday 28th. From the jam? From the jam. Can we get any tickets for that? You cannot. Why not? It's sold, sold out. out. <laughs> right, this is the 3rd of May. We have still got a few tickets for that. That's going to be a fantastic show. Sounds like drumming. It's, going to be <laughs> it's not, it's like Mad Max meets drums. It's oh, really it is, fantastic. yeah, Mad Max drumming. Right, then we've got Chris Connor coming in. He does Elvis. Oh, yes, yes, he now does. Now he's on for two nights. He's oh. on for the 4th and 5th of May. Oh, so, oh, 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 so thank you very much. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. So, we you... can't go on together. Well, right, I've done, sorry. Now. Well, I was channeling Elvis. It's very uncomfortable. Bring it down. Yeah, go <laughs> We've got about 100 tickets left over two shows for that. So, oh, if you want to see him, you need to get in touch. Navi. Oh, chosen by <laughs> Michael himself. Yes, so it is the Michael Jackson impersonator. It's uncannily. It, it looks does. Like it looks like Michael spooky. Jackson. It sounds really, like Michael yeah. Jackson. We have got 15 tickets left for that. Is that all? That is it. So if you want to see Navi, if you want, you, you need to get in touch with the box office and get those booked. Yeah, because it's going to be off the wall. Yeah. He's going to give you a thriller of an evening. And we don't want you to come to the box office and we say, look, beat, beat it. Beat it. <laughs> oh, <see. laughs>
No, we don't. Because that would be bad and dangerous. Oh dear, it'd be a bit of a thrill as got? well, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to like to say it anymore. Are you not? No. So we're just going to sit here in silence? <coughs> no, we're going to tell them about Pre Theatre Darling. All of this is available before all of our shows. Yeah. But you do need to be quick. We only have a limited number of tables. But it's a real nice way to start the evening, isn't it? Oh, it's it? fantastic. You can come in, get something to eat, have a couple of drinks, soak mm. up the atmosphere, and then spend half the time going to the loo in between that. <laughs> Sorry, I've just had three glasses of wine. I really need to go again. It's just getting a good bit. But <coughs> we look forward to seeing them all, don't oh, we? We're we loving when it. you all come in. Oh, it's great. And what a night out. Yeah. Meet your friends here, yeah. have a nice meal, yeah. have a couple of drinks, go and see a show. Yeah. Fantastic. What more can you... There's no time to tell it, Morgan, so you might Rubbish. as well be here. Rubbish, you might as well be here. Yeah. Well, and not in here. Obviously, not with us here, but no. in the building. We're not here all day. No, well, well we are. Feel <laughs> like it. So, we uh, obviously we want you to get in touch. And if you look for this... Hello, my name is Michael Parkinson. I've interviewed thousands of celebrities over the years, and at the moment I'm doing this Sun Life plan. There it is. But one of the questions I get asked the most is, how do you get in touch with Burnley Mechanics Theatre? Well, there are a number of ways you can do that. Let's have a look on the screen right now. So there you have it, marvellous is that. We're also offering this free pen. It's a bit rubbish, but every time you contact us, you can have one. That's a lie, there is no free pen. Right, so we hope you like our little infomercial there. Yes. And we're going to say it every week, we've got to do the catchphrase. What yes, do, we What have. do we want well, them to do? Well, what do we want you to do? We want you to like, comment, comment and share. And we'll see you all next week. Maybe Scott will take me in his workshop. Uh, that's, uh, you uh, never know. Oh dear. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Break a leg. Break a leg. Bye. Bye.